In this example, we're going to set up an excavation with hydraulic whalers and hydraulic struts. We have already converted this uh, uh, example to metric units, SI, meter, centimeter, and kilonewton. And we have already set up the uh, codes, concrete code, Euro code 2, and British uh, standards for steel code. We're going to be using MGF whalers and struts. And in order to do that, we're going to use the wizard so we can quickly create the model. We keep metric units. We're going to be running both the limit equilibrium analysis and a nonlinear. We're going to set a 6 meter excavation and a 10 meter wall. On the excavation width, we're going to say that the excavation is uh, 16 meter wide, top elevation at 0, and ground water at elevation minus 5. We're going to re uh, select the option from frames and circular shafts. So the program is going to create the two dimensional sections as well as the frame, which includes the braces and the hydraulic struts. For this reason, we need to set up the secondary dimension of the excavation. Let's set up like 24. And we want to, we're going to change the spacing to 5 meters. And we're going to make sure that we're going to use hydraulic or mechanical struts and hydraulic whalers. Now, we're going to have to edit the hydraulic strut that is being used. So we can go open from database, MGF and select one of the hydraulic struts here, replacing the existing section. Here basically we can see uh, the properties of the section. And additional information of that section with the capacity and so on. We can also define connector elements, plates, and so on if we wish to. We can edit the hydraulic whalers, open from database, MDF, we're going to replace the existing section, We can see the inner jack, uh, hydraulic se uh, section here, the structural section to the square hollow section, and the outer section. The jack design properties is an allowable strength, axial force, and an ultimate, a minimum and a maximum length. Specified allowable moments for uh, the outer hydraulic section and ultimate, and the section of the outer, se uh, the length of the outer section. We also have joint moment capacities for inwards bending, allowable and ultimate, and outwards bending. On the advanced tab, we can select to edit the joints, and we also have a list of available segments. So this, uh, struts, uh, these braces can come back in these predefined uh, segments. This is actually used so that the program can auto-estimate the length and segments that are being used in an individual brace. We'll click next. We can edit the soil types, so we, where we can define our soil types in terms of uh, type, unit weights, strength properties, elastoplastic soil properties, so I'm changing here to an exponential soil model. Or for example, we can go in this clay and we see that it has an undrained shear strength of 150 kPa. Edit the soil layers in the boring. Trying to replicate some London conditions. It's crucial that we input uh, an over consolidation ratio for the nonlinear analysis as this affects the undrained shear strength as well as the initial K0 for the at rest lateral earth pressures. Click next on the wall type, we have a sheet pile, we can keep it like that. And we can select automatically to uh, put uh, a bracing level 
now at elevation at 2 meters depth or we could say automatic elevations and select how many supports we're going to be placing let's do actually only one we can select the type of searches that we want to put on the wall or behind the wall and we're going to keep the current structural code settings So now the program essentially has created a base model where we have the 2 design section, 2D design section. Now here we haven't placed the whalers on the 2D section yet, but we could if we wanted to. And a top view that is related to this 2D design section. If we want to analyze, we can press calculate all, but very importantly, you can double click on any item and the respective properties will come up. So we're going to press calculate all on the design section. We're getting less than a centimeter of displacement. We're seeing the structural checks. We see the reactions on the struts and the structural check on the struts. This is the wall moment, this is the design capacity of the wall. If we look at the yellow table, we're using your code 2 or BS with a safety factor of 1.5. The safety factor can be adjusted from the design tab since uh, by changing this factor over here. If we go to the project plan, we can see the bending moments on the whalers. And we can also see on the results the stress checks on the struts and the stress checks on the whalers. If there was anything that was overstressed, it was going to come with a stress ratio of above. 1.0 and that would mean that the, our whaler is overstressed. We can also see the wall shear, the axial force, the horizontal displacement and so on. If we reuse the wizard here we can create the model to come exactly so it resizes the excavation based on the whaler size, on the seat pile sizes, so if we did something like that and we said, for example, uh, 24 meters by in the uh, x direction and 16 on the y, selecting when we, where we're going to be placing our braces, next, next, next. So the program is asking us to resize the excavation so that it fits out perfectly. Now we can double click always on the struts and when you go into the 3D tab you can actually draw another strut if you wish and when we draw another strut we can select it to be a hydraulic strut and there it is and if we don't want that we can go on top highlight press delete So let's recalculate uh, the 3D model here. We're getting the stress checks on the whalers and on the struts with the respective forces. And if we want to report, click into the report options. We can go and export all these results quick summary. Let's actually preview. I'm clicking to not use border for sketches. We can preview the results that are coming out from the 2D analysis. So we're getting stress checks for moments, the structural materials that we're using in the program, a summary sketch, with the walls, maximum moments, and safety factors. The reactions and the basic assumptions on the last stage. 
envelopes of moments and sears soil properties support properties and excavation state sketches illustrating all the construction history I'm going to select all of these results here and take them out and we're going to take out taking the 3D frame results and simply include them here so we can view what's happening with the calculations and uh, for the frame for the braces and the struts. So that's our output. This illustrates the basic summary with all the struts and the section that is being used. Oops, let's do it again. And we have the individual whalers and struts. It appears that we need to double check this here so it becomes more clear. But the idea is that this comes out and gives you the moments, shears, and we also get the critical equations for the strat checks and so on. This concludes the basic presentation of how we can incorporate hydraulic MGF uh, struts and braces. Uh, feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. Thank you.